A really special part about your show is that it's an outlet for social commentary. And I know you said that comedy comes first, but I wanted to know, are there any episodes that you created um, that are particularly close to you as far as you feeling like you said what you wanted to say? Oh, and, like, communicate. That's a really good question. Uh, it's a little I mean, too deep wanna, for us. Yeah, that's just like our personal. If we were deep people. Misty, we, uh, yeah, Misty, uh, um, No, I mean, a lo- I, you know, I'd like to like, I, not answer your question directly, but a, a lot of them, you know? I mean, that's kind of like how we work out our shit. You know, and it's, it's uh, you know, uh, it's kind of why it's the main, I mean, we really put everything into those 10 episodes now a year and sort of save up all those thoughts. Then we have this, you know, it's, it's awesome. You just sit in a writer's room with other smart people and come up with like what you think about something. So, you know, in some ways you look at, back at all the shows and I mean, there are sometimes I look back at an old show and a line or a position and some social commentary and you're like, yeah, you know, I don't know. Like I've grown since that, but that's what it is. That's what we thought then. So it's, it's sort of a record of our whole thought, you know, process with the good and the bad the whole way through. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty, it's pretty cool to be able to like work out your stuff in comedy, you know, cause I, and we go into stuff all the time into shows all the time where I'm definitely coming and go, I'm pissed off about this or whatever. And through doing the show, I'm like, well, maybe I was wrong about that six days later, you know? So it's a, it's a pretty good exercise in, in humility too, because it's like, again, if you can't make someone laugh with it, it's like, you're, you're, I'm not saying you're wrong, but it's like you're not, you're not getting to it, you know. So I didn't really answer the question, but it is kind of like all of them. What have you actually learned about, if you were to sit down and watch, you know, all 20 seasons, what do you think you would learn about yourselves? Oh, I know one. That John Edwards show, that's one. That, that, the biggest douche in the universe. <laughs> like, that was something we really felt like, fuck that guy. That's really fucking bad. You know, there was no, kind of no equivocation or kind of like, well, there's kind of two sides of that. It's like, no, fuck that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, we felt very good about, like, that's a really cruel thing that that guy and people like that do with cold readings and stuff, you know? So that was kind of one where it felt like we took something that people knew about and was a known thing and kind of brought it up a level in, yeah. in pop culture. The Scientology one was probably one also at the time that Scientology was a little bit of, like, a L.A. subject, you know? Like, people out, you know, because we were moved to L.A. and we had read about Scientology and then the stuff had gone online. And, but it was just, you couldn't touch that subject. And it was like, we want to say something about this. So it was... It was just really cool that there's sometimes you get to bubble up something a level and take it and, you know, present it to people and, you know, for whatever you want to say. Like, I think a lot of uh, people, probably their first experience with Scientology now is seeing that episode, which certainly gives them a certain opinion about it. So, so what, do you, what do you think you've learned the past 20 years? Uh, really nothing, but um, it's, it's, it's cool because, because of the fact that we've done it all... Um, that we've been at the head of it the whole time. It does feel more like, and I'm not just saying this because I want to feel cool, it does feel more like we're a band sometimes <laughs> because we always, like, every season we go into is almost like we can sit and kind of talk about what we're going to do, but then you go into the studio and you just make the album, and the album surprises you, and th- you know, it, takes, it goes in a direction you weren't expecting, and now I can look back at these old albums and be like, oh, yeah, that's where my head was at then, and... And, oh, yeah, that's, that's the season I got married. That's the season my little girl was born. That's the season when, you know, this person died. And, you know, and, and like, you know, this was the one where I kind of had my, uh, there was, there's episodes I can see where it's like there was one where Stan just decided everything was shit, you know. And, <laughs> and to a lot of people, they're like, that felt like the last show. And I was like, that's how I was feeling, you know. But it's cool that, that we can look at how, how we were, not only where we were and what our politics were and how they've changed, but where our emotions were, you know? Yeah. 